Hey y'all, it's Kitty and today I'm doing a switching of the bags. I'm switching out of my fossil messenger bag and I'm switching into my pink Dooney and Burke Logo Lock Hobo. Now a couple people have sent me messages after I unboxed this one asking me how I liked it. I haven't used it yet. Um, I'm kind of a strange, I'm kind of a strange purse lover. I will carry a purse for weeks. In fact, I've been carrying this one since I did my last switching of the bags, which I think was a month ago. So yes, this is has become one of my favorite bags. I love it, but try, time to try something new. And I'm gonna tilt the camera so you can see the purses and not my ugly mug. Here we go. I kind of always forget how I film these. Okay, switching we will go. Okay, that's what my current one looks like. I haven't cleaned it out or nothing. Can you guess what's in these bags? You guessed it, fingernail polish. Okay, I think the first thing I'm gonna switch here is my wallet. I'm gonna switch out of this fossil wallet into this one that matches the purse. Okay, I put all my stuff in here and it's plenty big for the car, for my driver's license and the few cards I carry. And then there's the little prayer that I always keep in my purse that my friend wrote me. Okay, for the for the money, I want to switch into this coin purse. I want to switch into this coin purse and I got this at Michael's. I think I only paid a dollar for it. Ooh, I have lots of change. So I think that'll look really cute with the purse. So let's see. It came with this neat, that slip pouch and they made it wide enough so you could slip that wallet into there. So I think I'll keep it there for now. And then we'll put in my coin purse and then I have my cell phone I'll put that in the little cell phone pocket since I have an old cell phone it fits right there this is full of fingernail polish that I'm gonna haul later so I'll put that to the side this also has fingernail polish in it so I'll put that to the side to haul later and then I have an old receipt. That's trash. A couple more receipts. Trash. This is what I was using as a cosmetic case. I want to switch out of that. And y'all have seen this stuff before. I don't really change a whole lot in my purse. Ooh, and I'm making a mess. I have, to re I have to resituate here. I just got a couple band-aids. So I'll switch out of this one. And I'm gonna switch into this one. I don't remember where I got this. It was either at Target or a drugstore or something. Okay, so my band-aids. My little pill box it has Advil and whatnot in it. My folding scissors, I love these. A couple hair ties. My Colgate wisps. It's another band-aid. I have some Alivert here. 
I don't really use that much anymore. Here's some more Alivert. This is an Imodium pill. I always have one of these with me because you never know. And whenever you need it, that's when you don't have it. Have another hair tie. Some plastic toothpicks. An extra hair clip. I don't know if y'all have ever noticed in my videos, but I always have a hair clip like this in like this in my hair. I got these off eBay and I got like 12 of them for $5 or something insanely cheap. And they're by Con Air if you're interested in finding them on eBay. And then I have some tiny nail clippers. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's put that in the purse. Okay, so that's what we got going on so far. And then I have a little notebook just in case I want to write something down. I think I'm actually going to put that behind the wallet thing right there like that. And then I have my glasses that I should wear, but I never do put those in the side there. I kind of only really, really need them if I'm driving at night or I'm, or I go to watch a movie in the theater. Then I need my glasses. Piece of trash paper. Here's my little jewelry pouch. I always have this in my purse because if I take off any of my jewelry, I do not want to throw it in the bottom of my bag because that will ruin it. So I always have one of these. It's empty right now because I like to keep it empty. So that's what we got going on right now. And then I have this other little pouch. And in here I have face blotters that I don't really use in the winter. And then I have some lip products. I have this Colorish lip balm. I have this Lancome lipstick that I will put back in my makeup stash. And then I have this Lancome lip gloss. If you remember a couple weeks back in my weekly makeup basket, I compared this to a Dollar Tree one. So that's, it's still in my purse from that week. So I'll put that away. And then I have two lip brushes and a little tiny, little tiny pair of tweezers. And I'm wondering if all that will fit in this pouch. Let's see. This hair clip's kind of taking up a lot of room. I'm thinking I'm not going to put the hair clip back in. I've got hair ties in there, so maybe this week I won't carry a spare one of these with me. Oh, that looks so good with that bag. Okay, let's put this bag in there. And then I don't have to have two pouches. And then I have my little, this is a, just a little calendar. I got this off Amazon just in case I want to know the day. I'm wondering if that will fit back there too. Ooh, it does. Oh, I like that. That fits nicely. And then I have a, cup, a pen and a pencil. And I'm going to put those in this slip pocket. Right there. And then I have another pen. Oh, whoops. That'll be a funny blooper. I'll put it right there. And then I have some Crabtree and Evelyn rose water hand cream. This stuff is wonderful. And I'm going to put it right there. You've seen a lot of this stuff before. Here's another little pink pad of paper. And then that strawberry thing is a business card holder. And there's actually another slip pocket way over here. Oh, those fit nicely. These are appointment cards for massages. 
I went to that one today, so I can throw that away. Here's my one for next week. And this is just a little mantra thing that I won't read because it's silly. But sometimes I look at it during the day to keep myself from getting stressed out. I have another pen. This one, this one is super cute. I got it off Amazon. It's a cute little pen with a blue top. I'll put that over there with my other pens. Oh, I have this uh, LA Colors lipstick and lip gloss that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm not wearing this this week, so it needs to come out of my purse. And then I have these two other uh, lip products for my weekly makeup basket. Lip products always end up in my purse, so I need to put these away. And then I have this uh, lip balm we got from the dentist. That belongs to my little boy. And then I think the last thing in here are the feminine products. Oh, but it looks like I'm out. What's that? Oh, just an old receipt. So in this purse, I was keeping my keys in this little side pocket. But usually what I do with them, it's all caught, is I have this little hook and I'll hook them to the side of my purse. So let's see how that works in this purse. Oh, I like that, it fits right there. Let's buckle it. Not too heavy. There's my keys right there hanging. Somebody mentioned in one of my videos a while back, I don't remember who it was, said that this is conducive to people stealing your keys and she is absolutely correct. Um, I think if I was somewhere in a crowd with a lot of people, I wouldn't keep them here, like at a festival or something. But for every day, just going to and from work, I think it's fine. And if I go into a store, like on the weekend or something, I will put my keys in my pocket. So yeah, let's take one last look inside. I have high hopes for this bag. I really don't carry a whole lot. So that's what it looks like. I love, I'm already loving the, um, the three slip pockets over here and the size of this pocket. They gave it some depth so it can hold more. I really like that. So ladies, um, I will probably carry this bag for a while. You and the next time I switch it out, I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.